Hello and welcome to our tutorial on how to check if an RTT pathway is correct. Now, um, on many occasions we get inquiries about um, why this pathway isn't showing on the PTL or it is showing on the PTL and it shouldn't be, etc, etc. Now, to go into the referral screen and just check the um, little symbols here won't give you a full um, rundown of what the actual pathway is in the background. This is just a very rough indication um, and it's not always correct, so it shouldn't be taken at face value. Now, looking at this, uh, Lorenzo is telling us that the RTT is active. And a lot of the times um, people will just just go by this symbol here and think, oh, that's correct. It, it's the clock is ticking and I don't need to check it. I'm going to show you how to go in and check the actual pathway and also check if it runs in a logical order, if it makes sense. So as these referrals are linked, we can click on any one of these. Pick up the pathway. And go into your RTT tab. And there it is. Now to check that this runs in a logical order, we need to expand the pathway. And straight away, you'll be able to see that this pathway does not run in a logical order. By logical order, what I mean is 99% of the time, RTT codes run in an ascending order. So they start from the smallest numbers at the bottom, tens and twenties. They then work their way up to, for example, a 30 as a start first treatment. And after that it would be the higher numbers, 90s, to symbolise that the pathway is, is no longer active. So to be jumping around on all of these different numbers, I can tell immediately there are errors on this pathway. So scrolling down to the bottom, as Lorenzo always runs the RTTs starting from the bottom here and working upwards. So we can see the pathway started here for 20, which is quite correct. And according to this, a clock stop was applied on the 23rd of July. This would obviously need to be validated to confirm if treatment was given at that appointment. Now we can see here somebody has then applied a 10. So this doesn't run in a, log in a logical order. You can't have a um, restart of a pathway after a clock stop. So 10, 20, then a decision not to treat here on an access plan. Lorenzo cannot recognise clock activity applied to an access plan. It always has to be on an actual episode. So an outpatient appointment, an inpatient episode or an admin event. So we'll continue to work our way up. And then we've got another 10 here. So this pathway makes absolutely no sense. What needs to happen is we need to go in and validate the um, patient records and check if treatment was actually given and what RTT status this patient should have. So for this example, let's say that uh, this patient has not received any treatment. Um, the appointment was actually cancelled, so they need to be seen. No definitive treatment has been given. So in that case, the clock should still be active. We need to go in and correct this pathway. So pick up your pathway here. And manage RTT status. And that will bring up your RTT status box, which I'll just try and share with you. And it just shows a um, slightly smaller summary and easier to read for myself, um, the pathway here. It's all over the place. It doesn't run in a logical ascending order. So we go amend RTT. And here we're just going to give some supporting information in the comments. clock stop. Just for this example, we're going to say, as I said, that this patient does need to be on our PTL. They haven't had definitive treatment. So you need to go to the line where the first error appears. This section here is fine. 
and it's not asking us to correct it. This is where our issue is. The outpatient appointment, the clock was stopped. This also shows us how important it is when we're outcoming our episodes that we apply the correct code. If you're unsure, please check. For example, as this appointment has been outcomed with a clock stop, a 30, this has then removed the patient from our waiting list and they could have potentially been lost for a long time just because of this incorrect code here. So I'm going to run this across. There we go, follow the line across. And this is where you need to click. Now, it doesn't automatically look like anything will appear when we click there. But if you click, a drop down will appear. There we go. And this clock needs to continue to be running. There's been no clock stop applied to this particular patient. So a 20. And the codes do have a um, small explanation of what, what they will actually do to your pathway. So sometimes it's a process of elimination as well. Looking through, it's not a tertiary referral. They haven't had first treatment. Um, no watchful waits have been replied. Uh, a decision not to treat has not been made and the patient hasn't declined treatment. They've just cancelled the appointment, which they are entitled to do. So further activity needs to happen. There we go. And click update. There. Lorenzo has automatically populated what it thinks should go in there. So let's just run through again and check. So we've got the referral here, which is the start of the pathway, a 20. And then going over to where we've removed this clock stop here and we've put a 20, it then runs in the logical order. There we go. And you click finish. And I'll just share with you what it looks like now with our clock. There we go. So now we know that is correct. And let's just double check what it's showing and what we've put in just by expanding the pathway again. Scroll down to the bottom because we know that the pathways always start from the bottom, as I said before. And this runs in a logical order. So basically, the pathway is ticking. There are no clock stops supplied, no incorrect codes. And that looks a lot better there. So hopefully this video has been helpful in showing you how to identify problems on a pathway and then how to correct them. If you have any other problems or would like some more one-to-one -one training, don't hesitate to contact us. You can contact myself, Lisa Magor, or the validation team on div2.validation at ipswichhospital.nhs.uk.